Hello, and welcome to the Hard Science Explained channel. In this video, we're going to talk about one of the most fundamental building blocks of the universe, the neutron. The neutron is a neutral subatomic particle that is a constituent of every atomic nucleus, except for ordinary hydrogen. The neutron was discovered in 1932 by James Chadwick, who was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1935 for this discovery. Chadwick was working at the Cavendish Laboratory at the University of Cambridge in England. He used a device called a scattering chamber to bombard a beryllium target with alpha particles, helium nuclei, and observed that a small amount of high-energy radiation was emitted. He determined that this radiation was composed of neutral particles with a mass similar to that of protons. He named these particles neutrons. Chadwick's discovery of the neutron provided a crucial missing piece in our understanding of atomic nucleus and opened up new possibilities for nuclear physics research. Let's talk about the properties of the neutron. It has no electric charge and a rest mass that is slightly greater than that of the proton, but 1,838 times greater than that of the electron. Protons and neutrons, commonly known as nucleons, are bound together in the dense inner core of an atom, the nucleus, where they account for 99.9% .9 of the atom's mass. Neutrons are essential to the stability of atomic nuclei. The protons in the nucleus are positively charged and tend to repel each other due to the electromagnetic force. However, the much stronger nuclear force holds the protons and neutrons together. Within the nucleus itself, the protons and neutrons are tightly packed. We refer to them as nucleons. You can imagine this as a stack of fruit at the supermarket like apples and oranges mixed together, representing the two types of particles. Collectively, the particles are called nucleons because they have many similar physical characteristics, including about the same size and mass. Nucleons have a diameter of 1.7 fermis, so a large nucleus, such as the core of a uranium-238 atom, with 238 nucleons, has a diameter of about 15 fermis. This is why, in the single proton hydrogen nucleus, there is no neutron, but in all other atoms, there are neutrons. Hydrogen is made up of a single electron and proton, and the neutron is optional. However, if we look at any other element, there will be a neutron present. Neutrons, often considered as the less exciting counterparts of protons, possess a plethora of fascinating characteristics that are often overlooked. The neutron plays a crucial role in the production of nuclear power. In the decade after the neutron was discovered by James Chadwick in 1932, neutrons were used to induce many different types of nuclear transmutations. With the discovery of nuclear fission in 1938, it was quickly realized that if a fission event produced neutrons, each of these neutrons might cause further fission events, in a cascade known as a nuclear chain reaction. These events and findings led to the first self-sustaining nuclear reactor and the first nuclear weapon. In addition to nuclear power, neutrons are also used in a variety of other scientific and industrial applications. For example, they are used in neutron scattering experiments, which allow scientists to study the structure of materials at the atomic level. And in the field of medicine, neutron beams are used to treat cancer. Neutrons also play a crucial role in the natural world. They are produced copiously in nuclear fission and fusion, and they are a primary contributor to the nucleosynthesis of chemical elements within stars through fission, fusion, and neutron capture processes. It's important to note that in the 20th century, high-energy particle physics revealed that neither the neutron nor the proton is a true elementary particle. Instead, they are composites of extremely small elementary particles called quarks. The neutron is composed of two down quarks, each with one-third of an elementary charge, and one up quark, 
with two-thirds of an elementary charge. The nucleus is bound together by the residual effect of the strong force, a fundamental interaction that governs the behavior of the quarks that make up the individual protons and neutrons. This strong force is what holds the nucleus together, which is incredibly important as it gives atoms their stability and structure. Please watch our other videos about quarks and gluons and other nucleons to get a full picture of the fundamental structure of reality. Thanks for watching our video on the neutron.